gentlemen what their wives would do and uh, uh, reckon some of their friends could have dates with their wives, you know, trying to provoke them, those kind of things, you know, and uh, we're telling them just take all that stuff, don't pay any attention. But uh, what we want to know, what after the march is over? Now, I've asked for 10 extra to register, given all these boys 10 extra days to register. Got my free textbook passed yesterday in the Senate for the, uh, for the Negroes, more Negroes and the whites, of course, will be involved in that. It'll help them more. And what about the next day after the march is over? These 50,000 people, uh, how many uh, jams in this place going to be here the next day and the next day and the next day? They're going to bankrupt our state, and we don't have the money uh, to... Uh, of course, if they want to take, if, 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 uh, if these revolutionaries, as I call them, want the federal government to take a state over, of course, they uh, will probably precipitate a condition that will maybe sometime require that, uh, unless we can use the good influence of your office to say you've made your march, now let's, uh, let's don't keep marching. That's what I'm worried about. What after the march, Mr. President? All, uh... I guess no one can really prophesy what uh, uh, any group will do. I sure don't know. I wish I knew. I have the feeling that uh, uh, from what uh, Governor Ellington and the Attorney General had said, and they were both very understanding of the situation and of your problem and our problem, that uh, I might issue a statement later today saying that uh, uh, I ask people uh, to uh, not uh, go into the state and that we, we're we going to uh, jointly uh, try to protect uh, uh, the march in accordance with the order of the court, but that uh, the more problem they give us, the more people, the greater uh, trouble is. Uh, I would hope that uh, uh, if your men, uh, your highway people, have to go back, as you suggest, that uh, I think it'd be better if uh, if you called up the guard uh, in the service of the state, and I just uh, uh, approved it and uh, and gave uh, some advisors with them rather than our uh, uh, doing it, and then I would just uh, 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 have available, uh, as we have had. Uh, uh, proper contingencies are there in case, uh, in the un unlikely event that uh, uh, the uh, police and uh, the guard and uh, uh, our appeals uh, uh, were not sufficient. And if the situation deteriorated, uh, then I, I would have to give some thought to federalizing the guard and putting it under single command uh, with the Craig and Maxwell people. But I would, I would start out, if I could, trying to say to them that we want to get the order carried out as promptly as we can. I thought your statement on the election thing was good. I thought on the voting thing was good. I, I thought that uh, the, 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 the whole appearance uh, the other day was uh, 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 helpful. And uh, the ticker today carries stories. I haven't seen the paper. But about your education the statement uh, to the educators, and uh, that's uh, that's going to have its effect and good effect. But uh, we're confronted with a fact and not a theory, and we can't wait till it's too late. And if your guard, if your if your troop, uh, if your uh, highway patrolmen are going back to the highways to take care of the drunk drivers and uh, uh, things like that, uh, and you've got this uh, group of. Uh, uh, that's uh, coming and uh, the highways are moving and the tourist courts filling up. I would, uh, if you, if you, uh, if you call call up your guard, I'll put the best people we've got to work right with them. And our people here applaud the conduct of the guard the last time uh, uh, we had them. They think you're all right, and we'll just uh, we'll have uh, sitting back alerted, uh, ready for whatever help you need. These others and. Uh, uh, I think I just say that, and I think I just ought to say it. I'm asking people in the country not to, not to uh, let this thing get out of hand, and we don't need any more marching down there. They got enough to march. Well, I think that would be excellent. And here's what I'll do: I will. We're going to keep close touch with the situation. 
Wait a minute, let me put the Attorney General on so if he's got any question here, he can ask you. He's on line one. I'm going to leave here in a little bit, uh, trying to go down to Texas. Mass number one, 9 0, Nick. 9 0, the top one. Attorney General? Yes, yes. Oh, Governor. Governor, can you hear him? Yes, sir, I can hear him. Go ahead, Governor. Let me, uh, thank you, Mr. President. Let, let me... I, I'm on too. I, I'll just stay here. I just wanted him to hear what the uh, program was because I'm getting. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to keep close touch with the situation, and I'm going to do whatever well, we consider necessary to maintain law and order. In other words, uh, we're going to use the patrolmen we have uh, available and the, all the other forces, and we will do take any other step. We need them. If it were necessary, we call the guard. If we thought that was necessary, we've got them alerted because we are wanting to protect the marchers and other folks, too. But uh, I, I just wanted to tell you that I appreciate the fact that you may make an appeal that there's enough people in the state to march without other folks coming in. Well, I I would uh, I would seriously consider doing that. I don't want to go wait now. If you if you send your folks back, as Governor Ellington indicated, that you're going to have to have some of them return to the well, work they're doing. I don't want that to get out of hand where I'll be called on and. Uh, and I'll have to go, uh, uh, have to take action. I want, I want you to take the action, if you will, take it with your guard so, so the governor of the state can do it, and we'll s supplement it and support you. Well, what I mean is, Mr. President, I'm not going to call, take them away, but I'm just saying that if this matter continues on and on and on, we've got to send our, we, we've got to have these people in other parts of the state after the march, so we can handle through the march. Uh, but uh, then... After the march, if they're going to just stay in this state eight, eight weeks and congregate 50,000 strong a day, then uh, we're going to have a revolution. Uh, well, I don't mean that uh, you say you use the word revolution. We're just going to have some trouble and we'll have to have help. That's what I'm saying. Uh, it's hard to control people. The pickets nine Selma are picket in private residences. Uh, Thirty of them went to the mayor's home, marching around his house, round on his own private property. Well, don't you think we ought to act before it gets uh, beyond where we can? Well, it's not. Uh, it's not in any such condition as that now. Uh, it's I thought you felt like it. We ought to. Uh, we ought to have uh, some uh, uh, guard called up. Well, what I'm. I've got the guard alerted. And uh, let, let's see about when the march takes place. We, we are not worried about the march itself so much. We're going to be able to handle that. But if they are there the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day, that, that's what we're concerned with more than anything else. I, it'll be hard to keep our patrolmen away another two or three or four weeks. Uh, uh, and so we're, we're, I don't mean to indicate to you at all that we can't handle the situation, but uh, if they stay on and on and on, that's when it might get unmanned. Governor, uh, is Nick Katzen back, Governor? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I think that, uh, of course, whether they stay on and on and on and uh, what happens... Well, they're going to stay there until they take action, Governor. That's what they're going to do. Uh, uh, well, you mean uh, action on the voter business? Uh, I think if that march goes well and goes uh, smoothly and they are protected and there's no incidents, uh, uh, that's the... Uh, the best uh, chance if they're not staying on and on. Well, let me say this, that we're going to, I'm going on statewide television tonight and tell people that I told them in Tuscaloosa that if you want to stand with me, I'm asking you to stay away and to use your restraint. And uh, I believe that the people are going to listen to me because the people are for me in this state, and uh, so far they've done what I've asked them to do. And we, are, we, we can, uh, in my judgment, we're not going to have any trouble on the march. And if you say that will help us keep them staying on and on, that's, that's what we're going to do. Well, you you want to say anything? Just, just the appeal that uh, there's no need of everybody going to Alabama is what I'm trying. We like tourists, but uh, we're overflowing with tourists right Doesn't now. Anything? Uh, well, I, George, yes, sir. that's beautiful. Yes, sir. I think this, uh, from our conversation this morning and so forth, I think the wisest move you can make is to put your men back out on the highways and call your guard. I'll say that in all frankness, because then when they get there, the disbursement of these people is going to be a problem. Yes. And that way, I think we get it all over with at once. Yes. And I think it'll work out the better. Well, I consider that. I, I tell you this, that uh, we've got them alerted. I'm going to do what's necessary, and we may do that. Uh, 
but I do say we can handle it right now. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think this. I think if they know you're going to call out to God, then this wild element is not going to come to Alabama in, in the droves that they're going to come under the conditions you're in. Yes. That's the thing that I'm afraid of. I'm not afraid of the good people on either side. Well, of course, I hate to call out the guard and you all federalize it this time I call them out. Uh, I'm not worried about that. You can take my word. I'm not worried about that. Yes. And I'm standing in front of all these people while we talk. Yes. Uh, well, as long as we keep our heads together and cooperate to find a solution. Well, I hope that you all uh, really convinced that I don't want anything to happen. Uh, uh, I am. I can tell you that, and I feel like I can speak for all the rest of these men. Well, I, I appreciate you all talking to me. Just remember this. We are surveying, and we're going to take what action necessary to protect. Now, let me say this. When we say protect, it's uh, almost impossible to guarantee that somebody, one person ain't going to get hit with a rock. You know, the president of our nation was slain with all the protection he had over us. In uh, Texas, and uh, you just sometimes can't guarantee that nobody's going to get uh, hit with a rock or something because if they can't protect the, our president uh, from being brutally slain, why it's sometimes hard to keep somebody to get hit with a rock. Governor, uh, that's your right. We know that. Of course, we got to, uh, if we, we could have anticipated or had any idea something like this might have happened, well, we, we might have had a guard out. We got to. We know we got trouble ahead here. We can see it coming, and uh, uh, I sure want to. Uh, I sure want to uh, uh, express the hope that whatever facilities you have, that we we not act uh, we not act uh, too late, and uh, uh, we we're, we're not going to uh, nationalize that guard unless the situation becomes uh, such that we we think it. Uh, uh, law and order required and it, it deteriorates and we we think the way to do it was the way Buford suggested to, to me that uh, uh, let's try to get this uh, uh, this uh, stay out of the way and let the march start before people can get there from uh, these other states and uh, uh, you call up your guard let them know that you're going to do it and uh, 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 we'll applaud the conduct of your guard the last time it was used. Yes. And uh, uh, we'll have people available, alerted, uh, if, you, if you don't have enough. And then that way, I think we've taken every precaution. And uh, uh, we wouldn't uh, federalize any guard and, uh, unless it just got to the point where that was all that was left. Yes. Uh, well, but we, we won't take this through you yes. uh, as uh, b b before it gets all out of proportion. Now, you on the scene, you can see it better than we can, and if you have a different viewpoint, and you think that you got it in hand, well... George, are you by yourself? Uh, yes. No, sir. Now, I have uh, Mr. Trammell and Mr. Jackson. That's all right. I'm not worried about them. Uh, here's my thinking in it, and I haven't even discussed this with the president, but here's what I've had in the back of my mind all the time. This uh, radical element is... Uh, uh, Lingo and some of the boys are branded. You know that. Yes. And I think completely removing them from the scene and back on their duties of patrolling, bringing in new faces under new conditions, I think it's the only way we're going to solve this thing. Now, there's, there's a lot of people who at the head of the thing going to do their office work, and uh, we're going to have uh, other, we're gonna, not going to have the general out front, we're going to have the corporals and sergeants out front. I think that's a good way to express that. Yeah. See, I think very strong, the most strength you show right here in this eye, this time uh, depends on the quickest solution of this thing is. Of course, what you want and what we want is to get them out of there. I'll show strength in the boys protecting the people on the march. Uh, if, but I would like for you all to help me uh, after they've made that point. Now, you say they're going to stay here for the problem solved. But uh, if everything that they are asking for, <laughs> they'll be here from now on because the people of the state are not going to concede in the next year. Well, I don't, think you, I don't think you get what we mean there. Uh, I, I think the fact is that once it's, the march is over and is successful under the guard sponsorship, then they would move on. 
again. Well, now, that's, that's, back, that's all right. Uh, that sounds good. I don't yeah. think by that uh, gutters the cats back get it. It means that the whole thing is over. But this, this march, you build up to a heck of a... Build up a heck of a...